Tom, let's get a check in with Joanna from Business in Vancouver. This story we've been talking about uh, throughout the news this morning, Joanna. Yeah. BC taxpayers could be on the hook for a lot of money because of some actions of PowerX and BC Hydro. Yeah, some supposed actions right. that uh, has been found guilty. The BC Hydro subsidiary PowerX has been found guilty by a California judge of manipulating the market in California when it was supplying electricity way back in 2000. Mm -hmm. And it's one of more than a dozen electricity wholesalers that are um, providing that were providing power. Mm -hmm. um, so the um, the liability is split. We don't know how much PowerX's share is in this, um, but we're talking about like uh, 1.6 billion dollars. That in, was the total um, amount. Repayments, the total amount. Yeah. Okay. And so PowerX was quite a big player. It's going to be this. a major player in this. Okay. So how sure. did this all work? Um, well, what the judge is saying, mm -hmm. and this is being flatly denied by uh, PowerX and mm -hmm. the BC government, mind, um, but what they, um, uh, the California judge is saying is that there was um, electricity um, shortage in California in the summer of 2000 and that PowerX um, scheduled false exports and um, then resold electricity to California at, at inflated prices. Mm -hmm. Now uh, the BC Energy Minister is saying that's not true, these were market prices for the time. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen. Right. Um, PowerX is pointing out that this is not a final binding decision. Um, if the judge's ruling is accepted, then um, it could be a different story. So PowerX is planning to appeal or what? They are planning to appeal, absolutely. Okay. So uh, this is just uh, another stage in a decades long um, uh, case. So it's taken a very long time. I remember that this uh, had been coming up occasionally in the news over the last few years, but it's finally reaching this point. All yeah, right. that's right. All right, Joanna, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, you can get more information on the Business in Vancouver website. It's biv.com.